How old is he? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve, almost thirteen. Man, you've got tall kids. So, uh, so basically, he he's got hemiplegic migraines, and uh, and actually presented here today with uh, a, a bad migraine. It was recently admitted to the hospital and then went home and had improved. And then uh, you said you brought him back tonight because he actually had gotten worse. And uh, what what had, what were you noticing at home? Well, when we went and checked on him at nine o'clock or so, and we noticed that he changed the ends of the bed. So he had flipped. His head had been at the head of the bed. Now at the pillows. And now he's at the foot of the bed, and he was and he was sweating. But what was this? Very badly. But when we tried to get him to be alert, he was just non-responsive. He was listless, floppy, loose muscles. He wasn't talking to you. He wasn't talking. He wasn't acknowledging at all. No, no verbal. No grunting. No uh huh, uh huh. No eye response. No nothing. And so I. And, and then underneath him, I set him up, and probably in a few seconds later, he actually put his right arm down and held himself up. But even then, his eyes were closed, still would respond. So when he gets these migraines, he basically it's a left-sided weakness, right? Plus, right plus side. an altered mental status. This was right side headache, left side paralysis. Okay, yeah. okay, and that's what he gets every time. This is, seems to be what his was, but normally he recovers within a night. Okay. But this was the one that took him down. To the All right. So, and so. I couldn't get him to eat or drink for two days. After the second day, he was not drinking or eating, and I knew he was dehydrated. By his this was after he went home from the hospital? This was before we brought him in the first time. Oh, the first time? Yeah. And I had, it happened Saturday. We brought him in Monday. Okay. Because I couldn't get any fluids in him. Okay. And uh, and so, but basically what we did tonight, which was a little bit different, because the first time I was his doctor, the first time we saw him, and I think we did the IV Benadryl and compassine, and, and then we had neurology come, and neurology admitted him because of these hemiplegic migraines. But then um, tonight, when you came, we came back, he was, he was out of, we, it took four of us to put him, pick him up off the chair, wheelchair, and, and put, him, put him in the bed. He and he was walking around the house, eating full meals, joking with his brothers. And earlier in the day. Earlier. Okay. Today and yesterday, but today it just seemed to be a backup. Just okay. Back to just for the record, he actually has a couple brothers who also get hemiplegic migraines. Correct. And and do they present the same way with like uh, right-sided headaches and left-sided? One-sided uh, headache, the other side paralysis. Have they grown out of it? Um, yes, his older brother, probably three years ago, was when he had his episode. We were here, and he was pretty much unconscious for four days. And his was a left side headache, which controls his speech, so he couldn't speak for a month and a half. Oh wow! That. But his walking was fine, and and after he started talking and being able to communicate, he was able to tell us things that he remembered. You know, immediately from when I left the hospital, but he just couldn't tell us at that point. Tonight we 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 talked about the cervical injections, the using the bupivacaine, the 0.5 percent bupivacaine, one and a half mL um, on both sides of the neck. And uh, like I said, when we first put him up in the bed, he was just floppy. I mean, you, we basically he was unresponsive, altered, and uh, not communicating with us. And uh, he had gotten some Benadryl at home too because. Uh, uh, your, it was your impression that that might help his headaches, but we because we gave the Benadryl and the Compassine, but but uh, so he'd had like 50 of Benadryl, and that obviously would make him a little bit sleepy. And right now it's about 2 a.m. in the morning. But um, after the cervical injections, what happened? Um, obviously, he was not responding at the time of the shots. It didn't. Anything, right. Guess. He he and gave a little painful response just on, the, on one of the injections, the first injection. He he protested just slightly, but, but after that, um, I guess she stepped out, and about 15 minutes later, I thought I'd see if he'd respond, and sure enough, he woke up and was talking immediately. Right. He, I asked him, "Who am I?" He said, "Dad," and then he told me where he was at in the hospital. I said, "Why are you here?" And he <laughs> He thought it was allergic reaction to the Benadryl, but but and that's exactly right because he he when I came back in he said his headache's completely gone, 
zero, you know, zero out of ten, and um, and he is moving all the extremities. Hey, Micah, Micah, lift your left arm up for me. All right, your right arm. All right, lift your uh, lift up your left leg here for us. This is stuff he couldn't do, wasn't doing before. Yeah. All right, his left arm and, is the worst. Yeah, um, and then your right your right leg, lift up your right leg. All right, good. I mean, this is not this is obviously a gross neurology exam, but the the point is that he he wasn't doing this at all. Uh, have we got him up to walk after? Yeah, the neurologist came in. Oh, okay. So he could stand up, and he was holding his weight really well, but. He was struggling with stepping. Still, still stepping. Place. Okay, yeah, all right. So then, stepping in place, he couldn't make the step forward and put his weight on. It. Okay, okay. So he's, there's still That's some residual weakness on that. So okay. So, but 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 again, I think we wanted to do this video because uh, this is the first time I've ever used the cervical injections for uh, hemiplegic migraine, and and we're all kind of like amazed, like oh my goodness, that was so fast. And, and he's dramatically improved rapidly because when he was in the hospital um, earlier in the week, he basically, even though composite and Bendro was given to him, he didn't get it better right away. Couldn't get his headache gone. It Could, always stayed around the four. It was always, he was always in pain. Yeah. And he went home with some pain, right? Yes. Okay. But, uh, hey, Micah, thanks so much for uh, participating here. So you want to wave at everybody? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.